Hey, it's Randy from Funeral Funds of America. In this video, I'm going to talk about the actual cost for $15,000 worth of burial, cremation, final expense, or life insurance for a 62-year-old male. Now, first thing you need to understand is you can go directly to our website, and we've got these free quarters on just about every page. You just select the state that you live in, and we are licensed in all 50 states, by the way. Select the coverage amount, fill out the rest of the info, click Get Quotes Now, and you will be able to actually see the best companies in your state that are going to have the lowest pricing. And by doing that, you'll be able to compare pricing. And you'll quickly see that all these companies that you see advertised on TV and magazines, that uh, they advertise these really low prices, you're going to see that they're kind of bait and switchy. You know, they're super low price for a super low amount of coverage. And you can also call our toll-free number at 888-862-9456. And one of our agents can run those quotes for you, too, and help you understand what you qualify for. Now, one of the first things you're going to want to get a handle on is, at age 62, being a male, is $15,000. Is that going to be enough coverage? Is that going to cover what you want for your final expense needs? Now, for most people, that would be either cremation or burial. Now. The average cost of a cremation in the United States right now is right about between one to two thousand dollars. That's if you come home in a cardboard box or an urn. If you're going to have some sort of a ceremony, like a celebration of life or remembrance ceremony, and a cremation, probably be about thirty-five to forty-five hundred dollars. Thirty-five hundred to forty-five hundred. So, coverage-wise, what we would actually recommend for that cremation, where you come home in a cardboard box or an urn. Somewhere between five thousand to seven thousand, and if you want to have that service in the cremation, maybe seven thousand to ten thousand. Now you can go lower, certainly, but keep in mind you're sixty-two years old. You probably want to make it to seventy-two, probably even maybe eighty-two. And we know things are going to be more expensive in the future than they are right now, so we just add in a little bit extra coverage right off the bat, and that will assure that as time goes on, there's enough money to take care of you know costs in the future when inflation is going to make prices go up. The other thing that happens, so if God forbid something did happen sooner and you died sooner than you thought, there's a little bit extra money left over for your family and loved ones to maybe pay off some other final, final expenses or medical bills or something like that. So we typically don't recommend people get huge amounts of coverage, like twenty five or 30000 A lot of times when that happens, people just want to leave money behind for family members or children. And uh, just most of the people we work with are on a fixed or limited income. And if we get too much coverage, it just gets too expensive and they go, oh, I can't do it. And then they don't get anything at all. So just, yeah, get, get whatever coverage you can afford. Keep in mind, you can start small. You can always add more coverage later. Now, if you're looking at a burial, the average cost of a burial right now in the United States is right around $10,000. So if you walk into a funeral home with a $10,000 check, Chances are they'll get it done for you. It's not going to be anything fancy, though. I can guarantee you that. That's kind of the lower end these days. And we know prices are going up in the future. So so the typical amount we would help people looking to pay for a burial in the future would be either like ten thousand, fifteen, or maybe even 20000 depending on, on the budget. But I'll just keep in mind, too, that if, if you get first aid coverage, and you've got $10,000, that takes care of the immediate needs right now. God forbid if something happened right away. We can always come back and help you get more coverage, get you up to fifteen or 20000 in the future too. So now I mentioned the first day coverage. First day coverage is really important. That's the only thing we help people with is first day coverage or benefits. We do not, we do not recommend the two-year waiting period plans at all. We'll talk about that in a moment. But first day coverage means that, you know, if you had a policy, hypothetically, if you had a policy that went into force today and you died tomorrow, the insurance company would have to pay the entire $15,000 if that's what the policy was for. And that's what you want because none of us knows what's going to happen 20 minutes from now, much less 20 years from now. So you absolutely want that first day coverage. Now, a lot of people would say, well, I like the first day coverage, but I know those plans ask health questions and I'm not in the best of health. So how can I even qualify for that? And we would say, hey, your health is our problem. That's not your problem. That's why we work with so many different insurance companies. They all have different underwriting. They all have different health questions. And 90, 95% of the time, we're getting people either first day coverage or benefits. 
really the only reason you wouldn't qualify is if you had something really significant going on, significant going on health-wise. That'd be something like a terminal illness where you're going to pass away in the next 12 months, or if you have dementia, or you're on dialysis, or in a hospital, or a nursing home, something like that. If that were the case, we would typically refer you out to a different insurance company. And other things seems to happen like this. It seems to happen on a weekly basis. Somebody will call up and say, hey, we had a family member uh, die this last week, and they didn't have insurance, and we don't have the money. Now their body's at the funeral home. The funeral home director is not going to do anything until he gets a check in his hand. So we need to get this insurance really quick to get a check in our hand so that we can get a check into the hand of the funeral home directors. And we just have to let them know there's no insurance company in the United States that's going to offer a policy on a dead person. And insurance company will not approve a policy on somebody who's already dead and then give them money. It doesn't work out that way. And it's really terrible that somebody died. It's really terrible that they left this legacy behind, that they're the ones that didn't take care of this. And now their loved ones are going to have, going to, have to suffer through this and figure out how to pay. And a lot of times that means they've got to finance it and they'll be paying for years and years and years to come. So, you know, we all, we're all going to die. Don't be that person that leaves this behind for other people. The insurance is affordable. If you can't afford everything you want, just get, get, get what you can afford right now. You can always add more coverage later. But don't, don't be that person. Don't be that person who leaves this behind for other people. That's terrible. Now, let's talk about the two-year waiting periods. Now, Colonial Pen is one of the uh, more well-known companies. I think it's just because they advertise on TV a lot, right? seems like they're on TV with their commercials for that 995 plan, like every seven minutes, it seems. But a lot of people don't know. A lot of people don't know that 995 plan is a two-year waiting period plan. Ouch. Yeah, you want to avoid those. What that means is it's not going to pay out any death benefit if, uh, in the first two years if you die of any health or medical reason. You don't want that. You want first aid coverage. There's other two-year waiting period companies out there, too. Mutual of Omaha, there, you know, United of Omaha Line, AIG, Gerber, just a host of other ones out there that that's all they offer is two-year waiting periods. And some of these companies have done a pretty dang good job of convincing the American public that if they are over age 50, the only thing they're going to qualify for is a two-year waiting period plan, to which we say, ha, 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 do not fall for such nonsense. Absolutely not true. We help people with first aid coverage all day long. Now, uh, looking here, 62-year-old male, 60, you know, our, our, our guy here is probably watching those TV commercials from Colonial Pen thinking, oh my gosh, I've outsmarted and my, I haven't gotten this until age 62. And now I'm only going to pay $9.95. I'll probably get $20,000, $30,000, $40,000. Know, now that I think about it, I'll probably even get $50,000 for $9.95. And then, uh, then our guy, he checks with the Colonial Pen agent or gets on their website like we've done for you here. And he sees that one unit is, in fact, $9.95. And that $9.95, that will buy you a whopping $1,057. So I don't even think that's enough to cover the cost of a cremation in most parts of the United States. And it doesn't matter because it's got a two-year waiting period. Even if it, you could get this insurance, it wouldn't pay out for the first two years. So, yeah, you know. There's a lot of people would, would say that, you know, there's companies out there that offer and advertise super low pricing. And the only thing they're trying to do is to get people to call in and then try to upsell them to get them more coverage because the low price is so little. And I'm not saying that's what's happening here, but, you know, maybe you can determine if that's what you think's happening here. But, you know, we got to try to get $15,000 out of this thing. Now, one thing is, uh, Colonial Pen only offers up to 15 units. So I think we can probably get 15,000 because we can get 1,057 and multiply that times 15. Let's see what, oh, there we go. Yeah, so $15,855. Interestingly enough, you can't get $15,000 worth of coverage from Colonial Pen if you're a 62 year old male. With their per unit pricing, it always comes up with this kind of wackadoodle numbers here. So you, you can't get 15000 You're going to end up with 
fifteen thousand eight hundred dollars and fifty five eight eight fifty five so I guess that $55 means something or even the $5, but yeah, kind of odd, right? Well, let's, let's go and see what first day coverage would be and see if we can save you any money. I'm pretty confident we can save you some money. Let's take a look here. So we've got 15,000 male, age 62. I'm going to get the cool button right there. And again, we're going to come back. This is 15,000 for right around 150. And look at this. We can get first day coverage for under $70, $68 actually. But yeah, look at that. You know, Colonial Pen for about the same amount of 15,000, dang close, 15,855. We're going to just round that to 15,000. That's like 150 versus 15,000. Let me show you up here again. If you do the math, the Colonial Pen plan is well over 200% more expensive. Why would you do that? Why would you buy a plan that's 200% more expensive, that's going to force you to have a two-year waiting period, and that's going to force you to overpay every single day for the rest of your life? This is $70 right here, and this is $149. That is $80 more a month. $80 more a month that you're overpaying. And Colonial Pen is nice enough they will allow you to overpay that $80 for the rest of your life. Let's do the math on that because $80 a month is right around $960 a year. And if you have this Colonial Pen plan for 10 years for a 62-year-old male, you will have overpaid right around $9,600 on a $15,000 policy. So does that make sense to you to overpay that much. We'd rather see you keep that money in your own pocket or get more coverage. And oh my gosh. Yeah, you got to watch these expensive companies out there. Uh, you can go right to our quarter again and you can check out the pricing and find out exactly what you what you, what you want. You know, this, this level means first day coverage. We can help you with this company here specifically. We work with a lot of these companies. Man. Yeah, there's there's much better pricing out there. Let's try to find somebody else here, though. Oh yeah, here we go. Like here's Lincoln Heritage. They're a they're a fine company, I I, I guess. I mean, their their pricing is like quite a bit higher. That's like twenty five dollars a more month, roundabout. It is level coverage, first day coverage. That's good though. But yeah, they're so so Lincoln Heritage has a thing where when you pass away. They will supposedly call two, three different funeral homes, maybe do a couple other things. And, you know, they'll, uh, you know, kind of take care of that automatically, I guess. But, you know, they charge you for it. It costs a lot of extra money. You shouldn't have to give your money away. It's a, look at this. It's roughly $95. And we can go down here and get it for roughly $70. That's a $25 difference. That's $300 a year. After 10 years, that's going to be right about $3,000 when our 62-year-old male gets to 72, $3,000. So you got to ask yourself, is it worth paying an insurance company around $3,000 or more to call two or three funeral homes and maybe do a couple of other things that maybe only takes an hour or so? Most people would say that's a pretty good payday for the insurance company, we would say so. We'd rather you keep that $3,000 in your own pocket. Spend it on yourself. Spend it on your family. You know, everybody can enjoy that, have that money and have a little fun. So yeah, just, just don't overspend. Actually, what we do at Funeral Funds of America is we've got a funeral and estate planning guide and we provide that free of charge. You can download it off our website, print it out. And what that allows you to do is say who gets what, what goes where, and what you want done after you're gone. And you can change that any time in the future. You don't have to call the insurance company to change it. You just change it. You keep it right with your insurance policy. And that way, when you pass away, your family is going to know that you took care of every single family member. You took care of every single detail. And they'll know that you, you, you protected them both financially with the insurance policy and emotionally with the funeral and estate planning guide. And uh, again, they'll just go to the, the one place where you keep both those documents. They'll know exactly what you want done and they'll have all the money there to take care of it. And they will know that you are 
loving them and caring for them, you know, far in advance of your, your, your passing. And they will know that you are actually protecting them both in life, but protecting them when your death occurred too. And what a wonderful, what a wonderful expression of love. What a wonderful thing to take care of so that they don't have to suffer unnecessarily when you pass away. So go to our website. We've got these quarters pretty much every page. And you can go to funeralfunds.com forward slash YouTube. We've got a special quarter for our YouTube visitors. You can call us at 888-862-9456. One of our agents can run numbers for you and help you understand what you qualify for. And then, uh, you know, whether you've got an existing policy and you just want to price shop it, which you should in many cases, or you just want to add coverage to it, we can help you out with that. If you're looking for a brand new policy, we can help you out with that. And if you just have some questions, just want to understand what's going on, what you qualify for, anything else, how these plans work, we can help you out with that. But we we look forward to the day we actually get to help you get the lowest prices and help you get the most amount of coverage. And uh, we're just looking forward to talking with you. Until that day comes, you stay safe, you take care, you have a nice day. Bye-bye.